guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is how to take a wet bulb reading inside the house or the building at the largest return grill, okay? Um, in this case, I have a psychrometer right in front of us right now to check the wet bulb temperature. It says 64.9, all right? So you can use a digital psychrometer to do that, to read your wet bulb, or you can use a sling psychrometer, okay? So what you do is you take your wet bulb temperature inside the house, and then you take your outdoor ambient temperature, your entering air temp for your outdoor condenser. You line them up on your superheat chart to find your target superheat. What you need to charge a system to if you have a piston, orifice, or capillary tube. All right, but what happens if you don't have one of these? That that ends up being a problem. Okay. So presently, like I said, we're at 64.9. All right, wet bulb. All right. And uh, our digit or our sling psychometer here, okay, has a wet sock on the end of a mercury bulb thermometer, okay. And then as that's slung around like that, all right, you're gonna sling it around for about two minutes, all right. In order to read your wet bulb temperature, what's happening is that wet sock is actually cooling the bulb down in order for you to get an accurate temperature reading, okay. So you just do this for about two minutes, all right, and then you can read your temperature on there okay, of roughly 64 and a half or, or so, okay? That's what it says. All right, 64 and a half. So that's the sling psychrometer. The red, red one right here is a digital psychrometer, okay? You can get a multitude of different electronic psychrometers, all right? But if you don't happen to have one with you at that point in time, you can actually use a wet paper towel all right, you got to make sure it's really soaking wet. You're going to put that over your temp sensor on your multimeter. All right, and now you have your air moving through your return grill, okay? It's basically the same premise as a sling psychrometer, all right, except now you're working with a digital uh, temp sensor, which the multimeter is reading the resistance, all right, of the temp sensor, and the hotter it is, the higher the resistance reading, okay? In this case, we're cooling down uh, that temp sensor while we're having air going by. Basically, the same thing that happens in this with this sling psychrometer. Okay, so that temperature once it goes down and stops, that's going to be your wet bulb temperature. But once again, you got to make sure that 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 wet sock, that wet paper towel, or wet tissue is really nice and soaking wet. Okay, in order to get a good reading. We're going to hold it a little closer to the grill. Make sure we get some, some good airflow by it. Okay? Our temperature is still going down. Sixty five point five roughly right now, sixty five point seven. All right. Now, it works even better if you can get into the duct box, but still making sure that you have your wet paper towel on there. It's not getting sucked away. Obviously, that would not be good. <laughs> um, but I have a filter behind this filter return air grill to make sure it would capture that if it did come off. All right. So we're at 65.5. So it's about one degree off. Um, we're actually at the uh, digital psychrometer said 64.9. If this says 65.3 or 65.5, you know, we're, we're about point six degrees off all right not that bad okay so that just goes to show you that you can can use this if you're in a pinch okay but that's that all right hope you enjoyed yourself and we'll see you next time at ec service tech channel